Crushettes, are you ready to dive headfirst into the world of event draping? Today, guys, we are digging deep into a topic that every entrepreneur needs to know about, and that's really creating a fail-safe plan for your draping business. Guys, let's face it, in the world of draping, unexpected twists, turns, ups, downs, all arounds, they really come along with it too, right? So I want you to grab a seat and let's dive into crafting a plan that will really have your business bouncing back stronger than ever should anything happen. If you're new to the channel, I'm Precious Stevens of the Posh Academy, and I am your go-to source for all things event draping, such as event equipment, event draping fabric, and premium draping education. And guys, they call me the draping queen because I believe creatives deserve more money, and well, simply put, is I help them get it. So go on, tell me who we got in the building. I want you to drop your name and drop your city so we can get better acquainted. I love when your names pop up and I know exactly who I'm talking to, right? I love getting to know more about what you do, where you're from, and all those good things. So put it in the comments, all right? Now, before we get started, let me put it out there. Let me put it out there. Let me put it out there. Disclaimer. This information provided in this video is only for educational purposes, right? And inspirational purposes. Only results definitely going to vary and always conduct your own research and seek professional advice before implementing any kind of business strategies. So now that we got that out the way, let's jump in. If you're ready, I want you to put already in the chat. Why? Because motivation and it. Hold on. I want you to put already in the chat because engagement motivates me and it compels me to continuously create create the videos. Right. While you're at it, guys, I want you to grab a notepad because by the end of this episode, baby, you're going to be so fired up to finally take your draping thing serious instead of being yeah. serious. All right. So let's get into it with tip number one. And that is the power of savings. So kicking things off with this golden rule is I had to do it right. The golden rule is business savings. Guys, having a financial cushion can be a game changer when unforeseen challenges and circumstances come your way because it's going to come, right? It's This is going to be your safety net. This is going to be your peace of mind. So whether it's for a rainy day or an expected turn in your business, building up your savings is a savvy move that every entrepreneur should make. But honestly, guys, that is just the icing on the cake. The real secret sauce is investing. I'm trying to tell you, but that's an entirely different level. But just think of it. If you could just start saving and investing now, any amount, eventually you'll be able to work your way to becoming your own bank. Baby, I heard it so many times and it's a real thing. I'm trying to tell you. So let's start saving them coins. Then tip number two, give me a two in the comments. It's plan B, right? That can be your strategic lifesaver. Now let's talk about plan B for a little bit. It's not about doubting your abilities. It's really about being prepared for the unpredictable. Having a solid backup plan means that you're really ready to kind of pivot and adapt to whatever the things that's happening if it don't go as expected, right? It's going to be your strategic lifesaver, really ensuring that no matter what comes your way, you're going to be equipped to handle it with confidence and resilience. People think of plan B's as a way of, Oh, I'm giving myself, you know, I'm not gi giving everything to, you know, the initial thing, which is plan A. And if I have this over here, then I'm not fully committed. Think what you want is two ways to skin a cat. I am a firm believer of a plan B. That's just how I am. That's how I've always been able to bounce back. And I will always have a plan B. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm operating in plan B and thinking about plan B, but I feel safe and secure knowing that plan B is there. All right, guys, that brings us to tip number three. Tip number three is really about embracing new ideas. Guys, I can't tell you, innovation is where it's at, right? This is the secret sauce for business success. Embracing new ideas. Innovation is really the lifeblood of any thriving venture you have. It's really about staying ahead of the curve and exploring any kind of fresh new concepts or ideas that you have. But being open to change, right? When you're willing to adapt and innovate, you not only su survive, baby, but you're thriving, right? 
So don't be afraid to really let those creative juices flow and watch your business soar. Hey guys, are you enjoying the tips that I'm sharing with you thus far? Well, guess what? I have so many other tutorials that's right here on YouTube on the inside of my membership program. All you have to do is click the button below that says join and get instant access to dozens of tutorials that you can watch from the comfort of your own home. Hope to see you guys on the inside. And that brings us to tip number four, guys. And tip number four is going to be learning from setbacks, right? Really turning challenges into opportunities because setbacks is a natural part of any business journey. I don't care what you're doing, right? But here's the magic. They can also be opportunities in the skies, guys. I'm trying to tell you. It's really about learning from those moments, gaining the valuable insights, the valuable information, the lessons learned, right? and using them to propel your business forward. So when you get, you know, when the going gets tough or whatever's happening, you need to remember, guess what? It's just a stepping stone, baby, to even greater success. That's what, what lies ahead. I'm trying to tell you nothing is better than a success story, right? And that segues us into tip number five, which is the power of resilience, guys. Bouncing back stronger than ever. Resilience is your secret weapon. It's really all about bouncing back, not just to where you were, but to a higher level of success, right? It's the unwavering belief that you have exactly what it takes to overcome whatever the heck is going on, right? So I want you guys to keep that fire burning. I want you guys to keep pushing forward and watch, just watch, watch, watch as your business not only survive, but thrive. And we're not, we're not desiring to just survive business, maintain, like we want to propel. We want to move forward. We want to go get slung, you know, the slingshot thing. We want to be pulled back so we can propel forward, right? And catapult forward. So guys, I'm trying to tell you, I hope these five tips helped you out and you got some value out of the, this video tonight because they are going to be the essential elements, guys, of a fail safe plan for your draping business, right? If this video has ignited your passion for strategic business planning, hit that like button, please, and subscribe for more invaluable insights, because I got a lot. I really do. And I want to share them with you, right? But I want to make sure y'all getting value out of this new content. I want you to remember that your journey to draping success is really, it's, 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 it's going to the next level, right? You're going to come up with some innovation, some innovative ideas, some different things, and you're going to refresh the industry, right? So with that being said, guys, I want to know, are you ready to elevate your draping skills? I'm trying to tell you, this two-day masterclass is going to show you exactly how to level up to a premium draping stylist and command higher prices while making more money doing exactly what you love. I want you guys to prepare, right? Because it's happening. To say goodbye to struggling for clients, right? And hello to building a real business that attracts the higher buyers. For more information, if you want to grab your ticket while they're available, click the link in the description so that you can be on the inside. But that's not all. I got something for somebody else. Maybe that's not for you. Maybe you, you know, you didn't surpass that. If that's the case, if you're an event designer and you're looking to expand your business and share your expertise, baby, we've got an exclusive opportunity just for you. I'm thrilled to invite you to an exciting webinar that's going to revolutionize your career and really empower you guys to teach premium event draping to other passionate creatives looking to level up their skills, guys. At this webinar, we're going to unveil a groundbreaking partnership that will only open up new opportunities for you, baby. And you're going to be the sought after event draping instructor. Imagine the possibilities, guys. I'm trying to tell you more income, mastering your skills, reaching a wider audience. Baby, what more can you ask for? Don't miss out on this game changing opportunity. I want you to secure your spot on the next webinar by registering today and applying with the link below. Together, guys, we are going to revolutionize the way that you and everyone else really approach the event draping industry. And we're going to empower you to teach premium event draping to fellow creatives. So, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in today and do me a favor because guess what, guys? Guess what? Guess what? Somebody needs to hear this message, right? I need you to help me make a bigger impact by simply sharing this video. Your fellow event drapers and designers, they're going to love you for it. And hey. Don't you forget to subscribe so you never miss out on this big energy broadcast. Until next time, guys, I want you to keep draping with passion and purpose because anything's 
possible. This is your girl, Precious Stevens of the Porsche Academy, signing off. Bye, guys. <laughs> plan for your business raping. Mm. Wait a minute. Who is calling me? And this, this, these dang comments keep coming in. And that sex is...